Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place to go for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is Photoshop to After Effects workflows. All right, Photoshop is known for very rich layered files, layered styles, and big files. And I want to show you that you can bring these in straight up exactly as they are into After Effects. And having layers actually makes them animate even easier. So let's go in and have a look. So two files that I have here, I am in Photoshop with some layers here. You can see I've got text layers, graphics, vector layers, and an image in the background. This image size is set to a HD frame, 1920, 1080. I also have a very large frame here from my Canon 5D Mark III, and you can see this is 5,760 pixels wide, 3,840 pixels high. This is the native uh, shooting aspect ratio and frame size inside uh, the Canon 5D Mark III. So let's jump over to After Effects and you can go to the file menu to import, file, import, or import a file. You can also press Control i on Windows, Command i on the Mac, or you can just double click in this area right here. You can also drag and drop too. But this is my Photoshop file. When I double click on that and open it, then I have some options in here. I need to, to tell After Effects how to treat this, whether I want to have this as footage and when I choose footage, you can see I have the options of merging all the layers or choosing the layers and having the final result be the based on the layer size or the document size. Maybe you've got a layered Photoshop file in here. You just want the logo that's on layer two. This is a great way to do that. Forget everything else, flatten it out, give me layer two and leave it alone. You can also bring in a composition and a composition a retained layer sizes. So when I bring in a composition, it's going to make, regardless if you've got a smaller element like the type, the full size of that will be the size of the composition. You can also have editable layer styles. After Effects completely understands things like drop shadow, bevel and emboss and glow, and it can even animate them. I prefer composition retain layer sizes because now I have the actual sizes of the objects. I'll show you both ways. Let me show you just composition first. Click OK and on the left hand side After Effects brings all of our assets into a folder and it also creates a composition or a comp. When I double click on that you can see it looks exactly like Photoshop. It has all of the same transparency and layer effects inside here. When I uh, select the type and move it around, you can see I've got this very large object inside here instead of just the type. That's why I prefer to retain the layer size. So let me just delete that, go back and open it up again, this time a composition, retaining the layer size, editable layer styles. Click OK, double click, it'll look exactly the same, but watch what happens when I select the type. Oh, you can see it's one single small element. Makes life a heck of a lot easier. If you go down to the timeline and twirl down the type, you'll see layer styles because we have layer styles in here. And you'll see blending options and drop shadow. And you'll see right here, look at this. I can change the distance of this drop shadow inside here after the fact. I'm not changing it in Photoshop, I'm changing it just in After Effects, and I could completely turn that off. I could even animate that inside. All right, that's one way of doing it. Now let's talk about bringing in that extra large file. And instead of bringing it in in the huge file size, I'm gonna bring it into a comp that's already HD. So I'll create a new comp, and this one is 1920, 1080. Again, I'll double click inside here, and there's my cons image drag that inside. I could either drag it down to the bottom or drag it inside here. And when I zoom out and click on this, you can see it brought the whole image size in based on a one-to-one -one relationship. So one pixel in the image is one pixel inside here. I could grab the handles and if I hold shift, I can scale that proportionately. I could also zoom in 
and pan and scan and move this around. So you don't have to resize your images when you're bringing them into After Effects. You can leave them large and retain that full quality. I'm gonna leave you with a little teaser. With a layered Photoshop file like this, one of my favorite things to do is to turn it into 3D. And that's done very simple by selecting the layers and turning on this control right here. They're all 3D. And I'm gonna to go to layer, create a new camera really quick here, click OK, and then move, the, whoops, I'm gonna grab my camera up here and then start dragging this around. You can see that I've got 3D. And if we look at the position information, I can change the overall position out of all of these objects inside here. So now when I grab the camera and I pan around here, they're all in 3D. That's just a teaser. I'll show you animating in After Effects in another reveal. If you found this informative, and I hope you did, then please click on the subscribe button for Video Revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you to look your best.